Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how to set a reference altitude and then take altitude readings to see how much higher or lower you have gone from that reference altitude using your Casio G-Shock GW9500. This is the Master of G Mudman. Pretty much works the same as any other ABC watch from Casio that has an altimeter on it. Let's go ahead and start by going to our, our altimeter. It's the bottom right button on the watch. When you go in there, depending on how you have it set up, it should look like this. You've got your current time at the bottom. You've got your current altitude reading here in the middle. And then again, depending on how you have it set up, you've usually got a graph up top that's showing you your altitude changes as you're moving. What we're doing here is let's say you're going on a hike. You're at your camp. You're at the bottom of a mountain, wherever it is. You want to set that as your starting point so that you can see how high you've gone. And then when you come down, you can see how close you are to getting back to your starting point. The way we're going to do that is we're going to start by pressing and holding the top left button, which is our adjust button, while we're in our altimeter mode. It's going to take you into your settings. And then the very first thing you can do is you're going to adjust your current altitude reading and you're going to set it at zero. You can use the altimeter button or the compass button. In my case, because I need to go higher, I'm using the compass button, I mean the altimeter button. You can also press and hold. You're going to want to set this at zero. Once you've got it set, you're going to press the adjust button and now you've set your reference altitude. My starting point is here at zero and then as I start hiking, I can see my elevation changes. If I'm going up a mountain, we should see this graph increase as we come back down, we should see it decrease. This value will change as well as we start hiking. It's kind of a hard video to show you while I'm sitting still. The one thing I also wanted to show you is if you want to actually see your differential from how your starting point to how high you've got versus this graph, we can change that. Let's go ahead and press and hold the adjust button again. We don't want to change this value. We want to leave that at zero. If we press the mode button though, two times, It'll take us to our display, and then again, we can use the altimeter. Actually, we have to use the altimeter button here. And we can change that to differential. Again, press the adjust button. And now what you're seeing is the middle is my current altitude, and then the top is going to be the difference between where, my, where I started at and where I've gone. So as you're hiking, you can see your current altitude reading, and then you can see how high or low you've gone since your starting point. These two numbers should be back at zero when you get back to your base camp or your starting point. Now don't worry about it. Now you're thinking, well, great, I've done all this stuff and I've messed up my altimeter reading. I just want to get this. I'm done with my hike. I want to get everything back to the way it was when I started. Again, we're going to press and hold the adjust button. We need to go into our settings for our, our altimeter. My value is still set at zero in my case. We're going to press the altimeter and the compass button at the same time while this reading is blinking. And we've turned off that reference value. Now our altimeter reading is back to default from Casio. It's using the sensor information to calculate our actual altitude reading. I hope that makes sense. It's kind of a complicated feature. If you're somebody who does a lot of hiking and you like to track your elevation changes, you're familiar with what I'm talking about. Again, once we're done, we need to press the adjust button to get out of our settings and we're back to the way we used to be. Oh, the one thing I did want to mention is I changed it, but now I have this view that's still on here. So I've got my current altitude reading and then I've got my differential reading up here that's showing. I need to go change that back. So again, I'm gonna press and hold the adjust button and I'm gonna press mode twice. I'm gonna to toggle that display off. And then as always, once you're done with your altimeter, simply press the mode button, get back to your timekeeping mode. It's how you can set a uh, current altitude reading and then track the differential as you're doing your hike. Hope the video helps.